Hello everyone and welcome to our I Pick My Butt video. This is Boom Beach Frontlines and in this video we're going to be going over everything you need to know from a beginner's guide to tips, tricks, and everything to help you advance inside the game. If this is your first time seeing this game, this is a 9v9 where you play with real people and the goal is to either take both of the outposts or have one where the enemy has none in order to win the game. If the four and a half minutes goes by and nobody controls both the outposts, the game will go into overtime. From that point, if both teams have an outpost, the first team to eliminate the other team's outpost will win. If neither of you have an outpost, the first team to capture an outpost will win. And after two minutes of overtime, if neither of these situations have happened, the game will choose the outpost with the highest health points as the winner. So let's take a minute and go over everything in here. This is the screen you're gonna see before going into battle. And you can see up top left, this is our trophies. Currently, we're sitting a little bit under a thousand, but these are all the different leagues. You don't get any chests or anything like that for advancing a league. It's more of a bragging right, along with the leaderboards, which is gonna show you the top 200. Next, we have the community tab, and this is gonna be where you list all your friends inside the game. And then the squad tab is gonna be the people that are currently on that you can invite to play with you. Next, in the shop, we have boxes, and the free box is gonna spawn every four hours. You can hold up to two of those at a time. And then we have the big box and then the mega box. I'd wait to spend your gems till you're at least a higher headquarters to get the mega box. But gems, we'll probably be seeing those pop up tomorrow when we release for the soft launch, coins, and then you can support a creator. In the middle here, we have the boom pass and free pass. Now the nice thing about the boom pass is, is if you purchase it, all your troops are gonna be the same level as your headquarters. So it's definitely something that's worthwhile. I think it was about $10 in the US over here. Definitely worth it in my opinion. Moving on to the maps, you can see above the battle there, this one is a bridge too far, and these are gonna change out every four hours. There's only one map at a time, but the nice thing is, is every time a new map pops up, right there, three stars are gonna be added to your star pool. Now, the stars, that's what we're gonna use to unlock the chest on the free pass and the battle pass. In the middle of the screen, we have our headquarters, and this is just gonna kinda list where your experience is at at the top left. You can click on to find the exact number, but based by your headquarters level, that's gonna be what you're able to unlock inside those boxes that you can get. On the right, we have the docking boat, and this is something that won't unlock until you get six different troops. This is going to allow you to change out which troops you bring inside the game. So there's five of them that you can take in, and the only way to change your troop inside the game is to either start off or die and then pick another one. And the last building over on the left, this is where we house all our cards. And I'd probably break this down into four different categories. First, we have our troops. That's gonna be what you're bringing in the game to do the battle with, do the shooting and everything else. Next, we have our defenses. And when you take over an outpost, you're gonna have a bunch of boxes that pop up in the general area and you can use your munitions. This is gonna be what you get for killing enemies and it kind of just gradually adds up. That's gonna be the actual battle currency inside the game. Then we have vehicles. These will also pop up when you take over an outpost or you can purchase them in the headquarters, which is kind of the start point or even the revive point inside the game. And last, we have the abilities. And this is something that can only be purchased inside the battle headquarters inside the game. And luckily the game starts you off with about 500 munitions. So you can pick up some of them right away. And what a game changer some of these things really make. All right, let's talk about the battle now and give you some tips and tricks inside the game. So when the game finally finds a match, it's going to load up the cards for the defenses, the power-ups, and the vehicles inside the game. If you don't have any of the cards, you will not be able to purchase that specific item. So you have to rely on one of your teammates to grab it if they have it. But take a look right at the top of the map there. That is currently the troops and the army that you guys have built on your team. And oh, by the way, you have to hit battle in order to get inside the game. I constantly forget to do that from time to time. But you can see there, there is the power-ups you can buy and then the vehicles that you could also purchase on. It's an A or B thing. You can hit the A or B button up on the top left to kind of indicate where you're going to your teammates. But in order to take this outpost, we need to get in the center and you can see the arrows over the A and B. Having at least three players inside the outpost will go and make it go fast as possible. If an enemy pops in there though, you see the pause button on it that's saying that it's not advancing at all one thing i love about this game is it has a quick revive so you can get right back into battle now as far as these power-ups you see the one that says in use you can actually see which player on your team has that by that little blue icon over their head one of the best things you can be doing inside the game is using these bunkers. They soak up a ton of damage, but be careful. They can be two-sided like the one I'm using there. There's other ones like this one over here, which has barbed wire on it. That is a one-sided one. 
but be careful because even if you're behind the bunker, the enemy can come around and you'll see the flank. Your white will go to red and you'll be taking damage as normal. Vehicles are a lot of fun inside this game and they can do some heavy damage. There are some that are made for just transporting around only and if your vehicle ends up getting destroyed and you're driving it, you're going to die with it. Now, if you find a vehicle like the 4x4 and you hop in it, if that gets destroyed, only the driver is going to die and you can continue to battle. Also, these vehicles are great for running over the enemy. There's not a lot of communication inside this game, but if you do double tap on yourself or double tap on another player, you will give things like cover, assist me, or even things like nice job. This is a great way to find out who's a bot and who's not a bot, so you can kind of stick with an actual live person. If you have a favorite troop or favorite vehicle inside the game, I would still recommend going for the ones that are going to be the highest level. This could really make the difference with that extra little bit of damage or extra little bit of hit points. It can really be a game changer for you. But guys, this game is going to drop tomorrow on October 19th for Canada, so I highly recommend you download it. And if you want to see more videos on this, we'll be making some more. So don't forget, like, subscribe, and remember, I pick my butt.